If you're a regular here at the uh, Kermode Uncut site, you'll know that the last time I went on holiday, three really great movies came out. Gran Torino, the Clint Eastwood movie, Che Part 2, which I like even more than Che Part 1, and the majestic Anvil, the story of Anvil. And I did a blog saying, you know what, if this is what happens when I go away, I should go away more often because you get better movies. So Easter's coming up, so I'm off for two weeks, and guess what happens? Two really interesting movies come out. I really am starting to think this is a conspiracy. The first one is In The Loop, which is the feature length version of The Thick Of It, uh, written and directed by Amanda Iannucci, which is a scabrous political satire, which some of you may know, I watched with Alistair Campbell. Now, according to popular law, Alistair Campbell was the inspiration for the venal, swearing spin doctor Malcolm Tucker, brilliantly played by Peter Capaldi, although Campbell himself says, of course, it's not really based on him. And I have to say, he was a very good sport about sitting there and watching the movie with me. He didn't find it funny. I found it a lot funnier than he did. I don't think it's perfect. I think it's on much safer ground when it's here in the UK. I think when it goes to America, or seems to go to America, I think it loses its way a little bit. And I think perhaps you do get a sense of an idea that would work brilliantly for 45 minutes, being slightly overstretched at an hour and a half or whatever it is. But every minute that Peter Capaldi is on screen swearing and ranting and raving and chewing up the scenery, it's absolutely wonderful to watch. I mean, he's becoming one of my favorite actors. It's amazing to think this was the guy who was so sweet and nice and gentle in Local Hero, effectively playing Lucifer himself in In The Loop. No wonder Alistair Campbell didn't think the character was based on him. And then there's Let the Right One In, a genuinely extraordinary and wonderful film from Sweden. <laughs> Är du vampyr? Hade du tyckt om mig ändå? What is it? Is it a vampire movie? Is it a horror film? Is it a psychological chiller? Is it a coming of age drama? It's all of these things and yet none of them. I know many of you have already seen it. It played at Fright Fest last year and many of you posted saying that it was your favorite foreign language film of last year. Certainly I would be surprised if it doesn't feature in my top five films of the year this year. It's one of those movies that does the thing that horror does when it's at its very best. It touches you in a way which is melancholic and sad and personal and poignant. It doesn't just shout and scream and yell and attempt to shock you. What it does is it attempts to touch you and to move you and to make you think that there is a universal experience being played out in this wonderful, fantastical arena that is at once absolutely imaginary and also grounded in something terribly real. It's a truly marvelous film. Guillermo del Toro has already thrown his full weight behind it and said that he thinks it's one of the best films he's seen in ages and ages. And remember, he's the guy who gave you Pan's Labyrinth. And part of me, part of me, thinks that Let the Right One In is for me this year's Pan's Labyrinth. Why does this always happen when I go on holiday? 